quarterback is the leader of the offense. He's the one that calls the signals and sets the play in motion. I want to teach you some of the basic skills and fundamentals in playing quarterback. Each play starts with a snap of the football from the center to the quarterback. And in receiving the snap, the quarterback wants to do one important thing first, position himself correctly behind the center. And how we want to do that is to place our feet shoulder width apart and our knees slightly bent so we're comfortable behind him so we can receive the snap. Then we want to take our right hand or our left hand, if we're left-handed, and place it underneath the center and take the opposite hand, which in my case will be my left hand, and put it directly below the right hand. And in doing this, we just want to put moderate pressure on the center, not too much because we don't want to push him too hard where we push him over and he can't block the guy in front of him. So we want to make sure we just put moderate pressure and then call out our signals and take the snap. Ready, set, go. As you can see, it's very important that the laces of the football come up properly. That's in case if the play develops quickly, I'm either ready to throw the football or hand it off. After receiving the snap of the football from the center, the quarterback wants to make sure he makes the proper pivot getting away from the line of scrimmage. The proper way to do this would be, if I was stepping to my left, is to take the snap, push off on my right foot, and move to my left. The improper way to do this would be to take the snap from the center, make a step with my right foot, and then push off. What we want to try to avoid as a quarterback is wasted time and motion at the line of scrimmage. The handoff sets the running play in motion. As a quarterback, we want to pocket the ball close to the body to protect it with both hands securely around it. Then we want to place the ball firmly into the pocket that the running back has formed and then let go so the running play can develop. two ways to execute the pitch out. The first way is to open up to the side of the play and pitch the ball. With the pitch out, it's very important to have slight rotation on the ball because it's much easier for the running back to catch. The second way is a reverse pivot, which gives the quarterback momentum in tossing the ball. Passing the football, you start with a grip. Quarterbacks grip the ball many different ways. This is how I grip it. Just remember, the most important factor in gripping the football is to do it in a way that is most comfortable for you. Now we're going to talk about the drop back. The five-step drop is the most commonly used in football, and that's the one I'm going to show you. Some important factors to remember is after you take the snap is to turn and to push off the left foot and reach as far back with the right foot as possible because we want to get as far away from the line of scrimmage as we can. Then we want to make one big reach over step as big as we can and then another reach step with the right foot as large as we can. Then the last two steps, probably the most important steps, are two little baby steps, a crossover and another reach step, very little because we want to get in position to throw the football. Throwing the football, we want to remember to hold the ball chest high and put both hands firmly on it. Then we want to pick out a target and push off our right foot and transfer the weight to our left foot and deliver the football. There are a lot of different ways to throw the football. Some people throw it sidearm. Some people throw the ball directly over their head. 
But always remember, throw the ball in a way that is most comfortable for you. The one technique I like to show you, which I think can help, is that in throwing the football, always try to keep the elbow at least parallel with the shoulder. That way, if defensive linemen are coming in with their hands raised, you have a chance to get the ball over their head and complete the pass. The quarterback has to use a lot of variety of speeds in throwing the football. Sometimes he has to throw the ball hard. Sometimes he has to throw the ball soft. All that is dictated on the situation on the football field. For example, if I'm throwing the ball to my wide receiver and there's a defender between me and him, I have to throw the ball soft over the top of the defender so my wide receiver can catch it. If I'm throwing the ball over the middle and the tight end is covered by two people and they're both around him, of course, I have to throw the ball very hard to get it in between these defenders so that he has a chance to catch it. Other times, if uh, a defensive lineman is rushing the quarterback and he doesn't have a chance to set his feet and to throw the ball properly, he just has to throw the ball off balance and dump it off to a running back or to the tight end, whoever's closest to him, in a way to get rid of the ball. And if a quarterback is a blitz coming and it's not picked up, of course he has to change his drop, set up much quicker, and deliver the ball according to the situation down the field. Sometimes when you get rid of it quickly, you throw it soft to the running back, or other times you have to stop and throw the ball hard in between defenders to a receiver. Also, an important point to remember in throwing the football when we are throwing the short passes, the 10 to 15, 20 yarders down the field, that we can throw these balls what we call on the line because we can pinpoint these passes. We can throw them to a certain spot where the receiver can catch the ball. But in throwing the deep pass, we have to give the ball what we call air time because we must throw it high so the offensive man who is trying to receive this ball has a chance to slow down or speed up to catch the football. Another type of pass more widely used in high school and the college ranks than in the pros is the rollout pass. An important factor to remember in the rollout pass as a quarterback is to square your shoulders up with a line of scrimmage before delivering the ball. Simple drill that I want to show all you young quarterbacks out there it's just dropping and catching the football. Something I learned to do when I was a young kid and I started playing football and something I continue to do even as a professional. What this does for you is teaches you to learn to handle the football. And as a quarterback, that's the most important thing we do, of course, is handle that football, either handing off or throwing. I got a tip for all you young quarterbacks out there. What do you think of when you're walking to the line of scrimmage before each play? I tell you what I think of. I think of where all my players are gonna be on that play. Where are my wideouts going to be? Where are my running backs going to be? Where's my tight end going to be? Why? Because if something goes wrong with the pass protection of that play, I want to be able to get rid of the ball quickly if I have to. That's why it's always important to know where your players are. <laughs> 